result of all this is that you can take magnetism and you can, uh, and spirit, because whenever magnetism is going this way, only magnetism can respond fast enough to give flippage and free play to spirit. Spirit is going in the opposite direction. I use the number nine to represent spirit because it's the axis, it never changes. It's a straight line, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72. It looks like I'm, I'm, I'm talk, espousing nonsense until you see how I applied it. But three is the fields, nine is the, fl the flux, spirit flux. And so I will take the multiplication table and I will show you that the, the existing Cartesian coordinate system, which is our standard, is obsolete. And I will show you God's, nature's coordinate system for 3D space. The end result of this coil is that the torus is a nozzle. And it can be used as a spaceship. And you can go anywhere in the, in the universe. It makes mankind intergalactic citizens. Because what the torus is, is an electrical venturi. Creates a localized space time implosion. It's a nozzle. And you can navigate it and steer it through the underpinning nested vortices that are used like gimbals. Creates a localized space time implosion, the torus. So, so that's what I will be discussing. I, I, and then at the end, I will, um, if you even, if, I will then go into what other people have said about this discovery. You know what Greg says, you know what, uh, you'll find out what Tom Bearden said, you'll find out what um, the German Journal, uh, Journal of Oncology said as it applies to microbiology, you'll find out what um, Russell Blake said, Professor Nelson, anyway. So, um, what time is it right now? So what time am I starting then? If we break now, uh, then the, uh, the uh, social starts at 8.30, so everybody can get their food, and we can be back at quarter to nine. Thank so you. you want to, so let's have a big hand for part one of Marco Rodin. Thank you.